Hey guys, uh, so today I want to make a video about Visual Studio Code shortcut. So it's like uh, I get asked a lot in some of my other video about like which kind of shortcut I do with my keyboard and like um, uh, the snippet I've created in Visual Studio Code, so the configuration, of the extension I've created. How can I use it uh, and etc. So this is something I want to show you. And uh, some new package I found and I didn't show in the other video I've made on Visual Studio Code. So uh, here I have a list of the command I use the more. So, uh, so we're gonna start. Uh, the first one, example. So uh, example, I'm gonna go there. So uh, you want example to copy this block of code. So what you can do is select your block of code and do shift command D and that's gonna copy paste everything you have below. But for doing this, I don't think Visual Studio Code get that by default. So if you search for Sublime Text in the extension here, you should find Sublime Text Key Map and this is the one I've installed. So you see, uh, if I do Shift Command D, I copy paste what I've selected. And that can work for one line. If I have this line, I do Shift Command D and that work. So Shift Command D, the first one. After that, what I have is uh, if you want to search inside a pro uh, your project a file, so some people didn't know, etc. So you do Shift Command F and you can search. For example, if here I search for a button, I'm going to see every place where I have the button. And now I can click on the file and go to this file. Perfect. After that, select full a word. So example, uh, so if I close this thing, so example, you want to like copy paste here Facebook. So if I do command D, I select all my word just for showing you. If I do command C and I paste here, so this is my word. So command D, select full word. Command C, I can pay, uh, copy and command V, I can paste. After that, I have a command D plus shift command G. So that means I'm going to search in the, the, the project, uh, in the, the file. So example, if I take this function right there, so if I do command D and shift command G, I find this one in the file. So if you want to refine somewhere, so example, you import like this thing here. So you do command D, shift command G. I jump where I have this one in other place. And now after that, what I can do, it's I can click here and click enter and jump on the three place. Don't worry, all this code shortcut in, I'm going to paste it on a GIS and I'm going to put the GIS in the uh, description. After that, shift command enter for get a new line before. So if you get there and you do shift command enter, I create a new line at the top and now I can type. If I do command enter, I create a new line below. So the thing is, if I'm here, I can create a new line there, I can create a new line there. So don't need to go at the end and create a new line. After that, go to the end. So if I use my command arrow, if I do command arrow top, I go to the top, uh, below. If I go to a line and I go to the right, to the left, so command give you access to go at the end. <coughs> After that, command P. Command P let you search a file name inside your project, so inside the tree. So here example, I can search for something like root and enter, I'm gonna jump. So I don't need to uh, go in my tree if I have a big folder. So example, if I can search for like a API, I get there. Plus you can see you get always you recently open it. Plus if you do a control, uh, uh, control tab, you can jump um, uh, to the last one. So control tab. And now if you get it, you can like jump to the one you want. So this is something I didn't say. So it's a control tab, go back to the recent file. After that, command L, you get there, you want to remove this line, you can do our command L and you can remove it. Command L let you select the full line. But what you can do more, it's if you do this, you can come here and say, I want to delete this line. I can do command X. So that cut this line because now I can paste it. So this is cut. Command Z, I can come back. So command X, if you have no select, that's going to cut all the line. 
copy uh, uh, command C, gonna copy the line. You see, if I do command C, I copy the line, but you need to have no select thing. The same with the X. After that, you want to go to full screen with your um, with uh, visual. You do Control Command F, Control Command F to come back. After that, you want to close a window. You do Command W, Command W. Sometimes I get some uh, students, or oh, yes, I give some course where they all close here with a little X here, and I always told them Command W. Now, if you want to close all windows, so I'm gonna open some window. And uh, so I'm gonna open some window like that. Now you want to clean up all this window. If you do command W, that's gonna take some time. So what you can do, it's uh, right there. So uh, close all window, command key, uh, command K, command W. So you do command K, command W. Delete, uh, close all the window. Command K, command W. If you want to toggle the sidebar right there, you can do command B. After that, if you want to keep open, so here, example, if you see here is in italic, like my text is in italic, so that means this file, it's not like, didn't change nothing, so if I open another one, it didn't, it closed. But if I save, look what's gonna happen. Like the file uh, now uh, keep like you are. Like, so now I'm gonna, I can have it. What you can do, for me, I like more to save. Like you see, if I save, that go, but what you can do, like they told, is to do command, uh, command K, command enter. So you do command K, enter, and that do the same. But I think I love more to have to save. So you can do or save. After that, you want to move from file. So here, example, I'm gonna open this one. I'm gonna open this one. If I want to move to the FB config, I'm gonna do shift command and a square bracket to the uh, left. Shift command, square bracket to the right. So you can jump the file you want. And if you want to open this file to the right, this is the only other thing I really use. It's by doing a command, a command and the command below delete. So I don't know the name, but this is a, this thing right there. So that's gonna open for me. <clears throat> My new file. After that, I have a, a plugin called Jumpy. Jump. Right there, so jumpy. It's an extension. Woo! It's really awesome. If you like uh, to don't use the the keyboard, example, if you have a like this file. So my cursor is there. I want to jump to the width here. So I'm gonna do Shift Enter, and now you see I get BM. So if I type BM, I jump here. If I do Shift Enter again, I want to jump right there. ED. No, I jump. So you see Shift D, a uh, Shift Enter. I can go whatever I want. After that, another thing I can show, it's like um, if you do a Control G, you can go to the another line, so 18. After that, if you do, um, if you go, example, to this logging screen and I do Shift, Command O, now I can see all my symbol. So, example, now I can get my function, so my block of stuff, but I don't use it a lot. After that, I use my snippet. So here, if you search in extension, you search for React, uh, I'm right there. So React Native Redux uh, snippet for ES6, ES7. So this is some snippet I've built. And uh, <clears throat> so this snippet, it just so here I show you what you need to type and what it give you. After that, if you see here the dollar sign one, that means it's th that's gonna be a variable. So here, that's gonna be the same variable. What I use. You start a new file, you want to import React, EMR. You want to import React component, EMRC. After that, you want to create an export default a class. So you do EMRC right there, and I do EDCCS, and now I can create a class right there. So hello. After that, if I do tab, I jump in my state. So here I, send, I can say like is loading false. If I again I can I do tab, I'm gonna jump here, and now I can say like view. And now is this other place you need to close? So escape, and now so I can do this thing. So that what I use too, it's uh, you want to make a stateless component, so a stateless component, but you like constant, you can do hello, here I can do tab and jump right there. So I have my like a hello, and after that I can do my h1 right there. So that if you like more a stateless uh, component, but um, 
function hello tab you get to the argument so if I show you back again so I'm gonna restart so slfc hello tab uh, user tab return and now here I can do my uh, return stuff so I can do like a h1 hello and here I can say user <coughs> after that here uh, what I use you make Redux, you use Redux, you want to make constant with your type, you do RCT, and now I get like a sign up user. Because you want to use Redux tongue, and you know now your command, what I really like, it's because I have two cursor here. If I do Shift Command D, that's gonna uh, build two times. And now what I can do, it's right there, I can select. Select both, so I'm gonna do command D, command D to select the other one. So you see my cursor. So if I do this, I can right there jump and say success. After that, I can jump here, command D, command D to select the other one, uh, uh, right arrow, and now do error like that. So now, after that, if I want to create my uh, per function, uh, like uh, you want to create your per function in same time with that, what I've Create it's a Redux per function. So example here I can say uh, logging. So that good tab here I say logging. After that I can do tab again. Here I say I uh, have like the user info like that. And now I can go away. Perfect. After that what I really use a lot it's uh, for my reducer I do RRD so Redux reducer. So if I click that. I get like my initial state, so I can do tab, logging, after that I can do tab, return, and now here I can do like a dot dot dot, state, whatever you want. <clears throat> after that, which one I use the most, so I'm going to just check here, oh yeah, so uh, if you want to, you create a component, so you do EMR, EMR C to component, after that here I'm going to create my, I want to import Redux, so I'm going to do uh, CCR to import connect from Redux. After that, what I use a lot too, it's a uh, style component. So if I do EMS, I get import style from style component. If I do EMS N, so because I'm using React Native, I'm gonna get the style from React Native. After that, uh, what I like, it's uh, if I do EMR N, import React Native element, so I get from React Native, and now here I'm gonna do view. So because of React Zero Studio Code, I get the auto complete. So I can do text like that. So after that, I can jump, and I can jump to the other line here by doing Command Enter, like I show you. After that, what I use too. Hmm. Oh yeah, sometimes because you create a small function, you can do uh, like a ed. So that's gonna be export default function hello, like that. After that, uh, what I use, it's, uh, oh yeah, you use ESLint, you want to disable this line here, you do EDL, and now I get ESLint disable line. <coughs> After that, oh, so you create your class, so here I'm, I create a class, but I don't want to import it, so I can do CCS. I want to import it, but not here, so I get my default here, and after that here I want to use component in mount CDM. I want to use component will update. Uh, did update. I want to use component will up, uh, mount. I want to use component uh, will update. And like you see the pattern, so I put the life cycle right there. After that, what I have to it's uh, oh yeah, I have just one thing. What I like to make as my block, it's something like that. So here I can say like action. So that just make a big comment block. So if you want to do this, it's C A M B. And yes, the only thing you need to do is install and reload, and that's gonna work. So yeah, so you can uh, see here what I do and. Uh, so thing about like variable one, it's a variable, two, it's another one, and three. So uh, example, this one style component, so st, so stsc style component. So if I do this, I can say like uh, that's gonna be uh, hello, and that's gonna be like a view. And after that, I do there, and now I can do like height of 
3D. Oh, you see? Perfect. After that, uh, what I'm uh, gonna show, it's uh, I add something to my Visual Studio code. It's uh, called uh, pre-dear. It's uh, this thing right there. Yeah, this thing right there. So uh, <clears throat> it's a prettier JavaScript formatter. So uh, prettier is something really big right now. It's a certain thing to like pretty all your code. And it's really awesome, format all your code. You can format by document, but what I like is to format of save. So if you add editor format on save and you do this, that's gonna work. And here, what you do finally, is you go to your command. So shift, uh, command, uh, comma, here. You can see I uh, have add this three line prettier print, print width of 80 single quotes to be true and twin comma remove out. So what that mean? It's now example. If I put this thing to be double quote, if I save, look what's gonna happen. If I save, that change to single quote. Someone give you this line of code, and the indentation is really bad, like uh, this thing. You save. That came back. After that, um, I want to have uh, a comma at the end always. So if I do this and if I save, I get my comma. So think about it like you have a this code here and you have like bad indentation like this and this plus this thing here. It's double quotes. And now if I save, one shot, everything it's done. So JavaScript prettier formatter, put this in your setting. Again, I'm gonna uh, put in my GIS, so all my sync stuff. Where I have all my settings, so if you want to see, because I think with the command P here, I've disabled some files. So file search here. So I say I don't want to see thing in no module. Bower component, get DS store temp coverage. I don't want to get that. So, so I'm gonna send again this thing in GIS. So if you like this, uh, a snippet like you can just install it so and uh, so again you just search for react and just you're gonna see my name equimper uh, oh if you have any other question about this snippet just or you have some snippet you maybe want me to add because you think it can be like helpful for other people and i can just add it and i hope you enjoy and again i'm gonna start to make more video like three a week and maybe one more each week too like video this one, like uh, everything about programming. So I hope you enjoy. And uh, I'm gonna put uh, the the gist on the description, all the file I, I show you in the description too. Please subscribe if you like it and uh, like button. And that's it. Have a good night. Bye.